Woo, hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live. Howdy, 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 guys. It is a great time to be live. And uh, we're going to be giving the crypto markets pretty much a red card right now because we're seeing that uh, the broader markets are going up. <laughs> we're seeing the crypto markets going down and we're going to be talking about why Doge is going down, why uh, Shiba Inu is going down. We're also going to be talking about huge, huge Dogecoin uh, predictions for March, guys. So we're going to be talking about what is going to be the final price for Dogecoin by the end of March, guys. So you can you can bet your bet your bet your house on that, guys. Remember, now this is financial advice. Do not bet your house on that. Remember, I'm just kidding out there. Uh, and remember, remember, we're going to be talking about some resistance and support levels out there, and uh, some some key stop loss levels that you could be placing on a Dogecoin uh, for the end of March, guys. So interesting, interesting, guys. So let's get into it. Let's absolutely dive into it without any further delay. So the good news, uh, the stocks out there, stinkity stocks are up right now. Ding, 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 ding. The bell is open, guys. By the time you're watching this, the bell is open out there. We've had, we've had GDP data and jobless data as well. So we're going to be talking about that and much, much more. So let's take a look at what is going on uh, with the uh, crypto markets right now. Let's see, give this a minty refresh. So we are seeing right now that uh, Bitcoin is slightly up. We're seeing Ethereum is up right now. Uh, we're seeing the BNB is up and uh, XRP is down. Cardano is up. Uh, Polymatic is up. Binance uh, USD is losing liquidity. Uh, Shiba, uh, Shiba uh, Doge is down. Shiba Inu is up 3.212%. So interesting, interesting. So what is going on with the crypto markets right now? Let me give this a minute to refresh. There you go. So we are seeing that uh, the old coins are starting to make a move to the upside. And that a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, the broader markets are going up, particularly this, uh, the tech stocks and NASDAQ is going up. So that's what's going on with that. The old coins are making a movie move first. Uh, we did see we did see that uh, in the wee hours here, uh, hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, this is uh, Bitcoin on the uh, on the hourly. And we did see that around about five o'clock, uh, five o'clock my time, we did see that a lot of the algos, a lot of the algorithms sold off a ton of Bitcoin, guys. They sold off the big, there was a big, huge dump out there. You can see a big, huge uh, dumpage out there. And a lot of that was uh, because of some uh, liquidity and uh, some of the market makers were taking some of the wreckage out there. So they pushed, the, 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 uh, the algos pushed uh, the Bitcoin price down. That kind of started, that started here and then that kind of triggered to sell off guys so this is what this is the algos selling off uh, out there and they did that because they wanted to trigger a, uh, a massive uh, downside uh, correction out there and what they did is that when it went it went as low as went as low as uh, 23 5, 23 6, 5, 9. we quickly recover we quickly recover but we are going back down again and this is a market makers taking liquidity guys and they they, they took the liquidity around about here guys they took liquidity at the low of around about 23 6 guys so it looks like we're, we're building back up again but we have are having a lot of buy is coming in a lot of that is the algos now buying up and what's happening is a lot of people are taking a lot of uh, leverage along positions now so the algos are the algos are starting to start they bought here when everyone dumped and we're seeing a little bit of buying guys so that is what's going to happen and then people are going to be taking long positions and that's going to dump stuff down again guys so watch out for that watch out for that guys absolutely watch out for that pretty much uh, we're seeing that a uh, green can a red candle on the weekly for uh, biddy out there ethereum right now is, is actually making a nice move it did go up into our our uh, resistance area did get rejected again, uh, but that is not too bad out there. So, guys and gals, uh, it looks like also the SE, the beep, so it looks like uh, United States Securities and Exchange Commission has objected, has objected out there to Binance US move to acquire over 1 billion of assets belonging to the defunct crypto lending form, uh, firm uh, Voyager uh, Digital out there. So it looks like uh, according to the February 22nd filing submitted to the U.S. Bankruptcy Court, the Southern District New York, the, the SBC believes that some of the aspects of the asset restructuring plan of the Binance U.S. acquisition could breach security law out there. So looks like uh, looks like uh, looks like Binance is uh, just you know, out of luck when it comes to the United States of America. They've got the BUSD that's collapsing. Paxos there. They had the Wells notice. Paxos has the Wells notice. So it looks like, it looks like you know, the rumors that uh, Binance could be shutting its Binance US operations and moving offshore. It looks like that is going to be coming. Choo, choo, choo. So here's uh, what's happened, guys. Update economic uh, update economic data that's just come out. It looks like Q4, Q, Q4 came in at 2.7 uh, GDP versus 2.9 uh, expected. So that's one of the risks. Uh, 
initial reasons why we saw that the algo start to sell off. Because when this data came out, the algo sold all the Bitcoin to kind of create like a, a, a cascading hunter wick to the downside. And that was done to basically wreck all the longs out there. So that was what happened. They basically used this info here uh, to, to, to sell off. And the algos had a bit of a sell off and that caused all the other um, people start to sell off. And that's why we had the, the liquidity was taken around about 23.6 guys. That's what that's all about. So initial jobless claims came in at uh, 192K, 200K expected. As mentioned, the US unemployment claims dropped to its lowest levels in four years. Interesting factoids. Also too, we're seeing that Wells Fargo has laid off uh, hundreds of mortgage bankers out there guys so that is interesting and that's because the uh, number of mortgages have declined guys so we're going to be talking about that looks like Kathy Wood ARK bought 30 million of Coinbase shares out there so also some pretty bullish interesting news we're also seeing that the dominance the the Bitcoin dominance is becoming less and less relevant as we're seeing that the stable dominance is becoming more and more relevant particularly particularly USTD so if the USTD uh, you know dominance breaks down this is often often Will help push the Bitcoin price up, guys. So, you know, there seems to be a little bit of a, a move away, away from watching a Bitcoin dominance and looking at the whole whole uh, USTD and the stablecoin dominance out there, guys. So we're seeing that the stable coin dominance is falling, falling, falling out there, guys. Also, US housing markets declined 2.3 trillion in 2022, largest drop since 2008. And that is why, that is why we are seeing, as I said, Wells Fargo laid off a ton of mortgage bankers out there. So interesting factoids, interesting factoids out there. Also, guys, we're seeing that the, the number of Bitcoin addresses holding less than Less than zero one a Bitcoin is going up. And this just goes to show that we're seeing more minnows uh, accumulating Bitcoin. We're seeing more dolphins accumulating Bitcoin. And we're seeing much, much more accumulation. And we're seeing a long-term hodling more hodling guys absolutely more hodling out there so that's kind of interesting uh, another thing that's coming let's take a look at the total wreckage out there so we are seeing that about 123 million dollars worth of leverage traders have been wrecked particularly we're seeing a big a big uptake uh in bitcoin as well bitcoin wreckage about 53 million followed by uh ethereum uh dogecoin as well so like i said you know if we go back to the chart what we did see is we did see that when this information came when that information came out we did see that the market makers uh they did sell off here the algos did sell that caused a bit of a you know a bit of panic and there was some panic selling some FUD uh, and, and you know they used the uh, GDP as FUD to push it down uh, and then the algos bought back uh, bought back here cheaper guys so that's so that's what's going on guys uh, so t guys if you take a look at the total the, all the uh, crypto prices right now we are seeing that the crypto prices are slightly up right now uh, Bitcoin is up Ethereum is up everything is kind of looking okay out there but it looks like Bitcoin is is almost usual out there uh, shift is doing pretty good out there so guys and gals that's pretty good out there so i'm i'm okay guys remember shabiram is loading we will see shabiram go live probably i would say tuesday or wednesday guys that would be uh my uh conservative conservative prediction for when we can see that happening if you take a look at what's going on with the shiba inu price right now it's up 3.34 percent doing much better than than uh, our friend the doja wozier at uh, uh, right now and we're seeing that the volumes are up 53 percent and the market cap is at 7.2 billion out there so let's take a look at what's going on for the price of uh, shiba inu so shiba inu is hitting this like brick wall here around about 1360 uh, out there uh it did go all the way up to uh, the brick wall did did come halfway down it did hit a low today as a 12 4, 6. it's come up about halfway right now and we're trading at 13 uh, 1300 out there so it's okay guys it's okay and look at the bone token the bone token is also doing very very good out there uh, we're seeing more and more whales picking up the bone token like crazy i did talk about them in my previous video guys so don't miss out on the bone token guys so it looks like elon musk makes new dogecoin related confession dogecoin spikes and every single time that elon musk uh, you know, tweet something about Dogecoin. We do have these do the Dogecoin pump effects, and you know we see Dogecoin go up five or six percent, very short lived, and then pff, it goes down, guys. So what we really need from Elon Musk is we need to have some serious, serious, concrete data out there, some concrete announcement. Uh, you know, uh, like what the heck is happening to Dogecoin, Elon Musk? Where is Elon Musk? We need him now to confirm Doge, the official Twitter, official currency of Twitter. We definitely need that. We need, uh, you know, the confirmation of Doge X. We need a, we need a catalyst, a long-term catalyst, which either adds utility or something. We need something to happen. Uh, you know, just these, 
you know, these, these, you know, these, these tweets, you know, well-intended, well-intended tweets from Elon Musk, no problem, but they just don't have any effect. They do not have any effect like they used to do, uh, you know, like two years ago when Dogecoin was pumping. Right now, what we need is we need some solid utility. We need some solid catalyst to really make this pump stick, guys. So, you know, that's what we need. And that's what I'm getting, why I'm getting really irritated. Let's take a look at the Dogecoin price prediction for March 2023. So what they're saying is that we could be seeing by the end of March 2023, we could be seeing 0.99 cents. So let's just call it 10 cents, guys. So remember, we do have really good support around the 0.75 level. So if I was a day trader, what I would be doing, uh, not financial advice, I would be putting a limit, uh, limit order with a stock sell at 0.75 definitely and then the sell or a sell would be at 0.9999 that's what i'd be doing that's what i'd be doing and i'd be taking profit guys but you know remember i'm not a day trader you might be a day trader you do you out there i'm a long-term hodler so it doesn't for me it doesn't i don't care about short-term volatility for the cryptocurrencies that i have because i'm a long-term holder i dca dollar cost average every week guys wait for life-changing wealth and basically that's what i do and that's how i accumulate and like i said my previous videos what i need to do is i sell when i'm up 200 percent sell 50 percent when i'm up 400 percent i sell another 50 percent and that's what i do you know it's easy to accumulate it's easy to dca but what is even harder guys is to pay yourself so you got to freaking pay yourself guys so right now for the price of dogecoin the right price of dogecoin right now we're seeing dogecoin has broken down uh and it's down 0.4 it's at 0.48 it's broken down today uh we did hit a low of 0.83 we're just above that right now and you know one of the reasons that dogecoin is going down is because bitcoin went down the algo sold off and often dogecoin takes much longer to recover back up and it doesn't recover as fast as a bitcoin guys so it, it is a, a dogecoin will recover guys so we take a look at the uh, total uh, market cap for dogecoin right now dogecoin market cap is 11.23 billion out there and we're down we're almost neutral neutral out there for the day guys uh and the uh, volumes are down 37 percent, guys so that's what it is uh those coins are still 59 percent in the money out there guys and gals uh we've talked about shiba inu the shiba inu price right now we talked about that uh the bone price we talked about and uh, let's take a look at the social mentions for uh bitcoin is about 279 million number one and if you take a look at dogecoin dogecoin slipped down to number nine at 25.34 million mentions out there uh dogecoin right now on the weekly we're seeing as about up 16% for social mentions. Social engagements are down though, meaning that the, there's a lot of mentions, but people are not engaging. People are being distracted by Shabir. Social DOM is at 16.2 out there, and social contributors are down as well, guys. So the monthly is looking better. We're seeing social mentions at 9, engagements at 14%. We're seeing uh, social DOM is at 9.6, and social contributors are 20.5. So today, today, the OG in house, I just went, I went, I went, I went like, uh, I went like, you know, I went, I, I, you know, I just went Dogecoin crazy out there. So guys, Dogecoin and the freaking moon, guys, we pumped that, you know, Dogecoin pump, pump it up, baby, to the freaking moon. Uh, we did that one. We talked about, uh, you know, we all are about to get rich in 2023. Some coins that I'm looking at, like Ethereum, BTC, and Dogecoin, guys, I think these will be really good. And these are some projects that you want to be holding long term. Remember, I never invest in anything lower than 60 on, on the, uh, the, you know, market cap out there. Guys, you know, and those are the people's currency. We need Elon Musk to make this a reality, integrate this into Twitter. We need it now. Elon, come on, come on, brother. We need it now. Uh, we, here we go. We need time to pull the freaking ripcord on Dogecoin and take Doge to the moon, guys. Dogecoin to the freaking moon, guys. Dogecoin 111, guys. It is a cool time to be alive. Uh, this is from one of my friends. Uh, he's a pilot, and uh, basically he's saying, you know, please, God, can we please get Bitcoin up to 130K? And, uh, you know, this this is taking a 30,000 feet guys so i he thought that he'd be closer to god and god was listening guys this is also interesting guys did you guys know that i am the only youtube channel uh where i have one of my subscribers watching my channel at thirty thousand feet so i think i have a record for the uh you know the the youtube channel with being viewed at the highest altitude on planet earth guys so that is interesting guys that is freaking interesting guys so guys it's a great time to be live guys don't forget to get the merchant gear with the og gear guys so it is a great time to be alive be blessed be well i'll see you in a freaking next one peace out